Hi, this is just a short video to show you how to calculate an age based on a date of birth. I'm going to use these yellow cells in this column, um, but I'm going to build the formula up. So to start with, the first thing I would do is use the today formula. So that is equals today, open and close bracket. Um, when I enter, press enter on this, it should show us today's date. However, this cell has not been formatted to show a date. So when I press enter, it shows a bit of a random number. So if I right click on that cell and go to format cells and I go into number and change the date, uh, change the date format and click OK. It then shows me that that formula equals today open bracket close bracket gives me the 19th of Feb 21. OK, so that's what the today formula does. Um, so if that will also, when we open the spreadsheet tomorrow, it will give you tomorrow's date. And in a week's time, it will give you the date in a week's time. It literally gives you the relevant day every day and will update. So if we know that that's going to update, what we can do is we can just deduct from today's date the date of birth. So if I then press minus and click on the date of birth cell, D3. So the formula today, minus D3, when I press enter, gives us a bit of a random date. And that's because the cell's formatted as a date again. So if I right click, format cells, and we'll format that as a number with no decimals. So... The result of this formula, today's date minus the date of birth, tells us that Steve Smith today is 29,298 days old. Okay, so that's really useful to know, um, but not very helpful if you want to know what their age is. Okay, so what we'll need to do is take this another step further. So um, if we were to wrap brackets around this formula, because that does exactly what we want, we can then divide the result of that formula by 365. 365 days in a year. So that will tell us how many years old Steve is. So we press enter. Okay, so that tells us that Steve is 80. Okay, but Steve was born in 1940. This year is 2021. So we know in 2021, he is going to be 81, not 80. But because today is February and his birthday is not until December, which is 10 months down the line, um, rounding comes into play. So he's nearer to 80 than he is to 81, um, which kind of doesn't help when people have different ages throughout the year. So this column I've put in that the age is going to be this year. So what we need to do with this formula is we need to do some rounding up. Okay. So again, if I click into the formula, the very beginning, I'm going to put in round up and another open bracket. Then at the very, very end, I'm going to put comma zero, so it rounds up to the nearest whole number, and a close bracket. Okay, so that now is Steve's age of this year. And if I copy and paste that all the way down to the bottom of the column, that now gives me everybody's age, what age they're going to be this year. I hope that helps.